Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman and I want to share with you my lightweight survival kit that I've made. And this is the smallest survival kit I've made so far. And if you've followed my channel for a while, you know I have a hobby of making survival kits. Um, a lot of mine have been big. And I'll put up in the iCards and in the description down below my playlist of survival kits I've made before. Um, but this one fits in one of these mini Altoid tins. Right now, I have it in a block bag as a way of waterproofing it. My plan is, after this video, um, is to take a food saver that I have and actually make a, an actual sealed pouch for this. I just don't want to for right now because quite frankly, I want to actually be able to show you the contents of it. But this is another way that, a uh, cheap and easy way to seal up a survival kit that goes into these. I'm going to use this food saver though because then survival kits like this, especially this survival kit, I don't need to break this open until I need it. And I want all the contents in this to remain, well, dry. So I built this to have some varying uses to it. One, the container itself is a use. In it, I've also included a bit um, if you've noticed inside of it, or as I can show you, everything in here is pretty, let's get that. I've basically packed everything in there pretty densely. Now, the container itself is, well, it's a char tin. So if you're looking for a survival system, situation, if you're looking at a survival situation, this is a kind of a method that is meant to future-proof you. So if you are looking at something that is going to need multiple fires going forward, this is here for you. And that's why I included a tiny bit of denim in this, so you can at least develop the first bit of char cloth. I've also included in it a band-aid because you never know if you're gonna get injured. To add to the fire thing, I've also included a, a survival, Ultimate Survival Technologies fire starter. About four two inch strands of jute twine. Now this stuff is untreated, and the reason I left it untreated, and yes, you could treat this with paraffin, and it goes up and lasts longer, but I left this untreated because I want it to act like grass, where I can just basically shred it, put it in there, and it just becomes almost instant flash. Um, and that way, it works really, really well. And I like untreated jute twine for that, so. That's why I've left it untreated, unlike a lot of people who do like to leave it treated with paraffin. Can you with the fire? I also have another Ultimate Survival Technologies thing, and it is their mini sparker. This mini sparker actually fits perfectly in there, and when held correctly, Gives off a pretty good spark. Similar to a product I've shown off before, which is uh, the Fire Beaner by Outdoor Element. But it's just the fire wheel itself. I also include, because I always include these in pretty much all of my survival kits, I'm, I always develop these after I make these videos too, based off of sometimes some of the input I get. The constructive input I get, at least. Not the unconstructive input. Fishing kit. Um, basically, just cut a little bit of cardboard, wrapped a little bit of uh, fishing line around it, threw a couple hooks around it. I'm not the best fisherman out there. Not even a great fisherman, but easy way of collecting calories. And I always, I always throw some sort of fishing kit into my survival kits. It's 
kind of just my ammo with it. Another thing is from Aquatabs, a couple, well, Aquatabs, a couple water treatment tablets. I like keeping water treatment in all my Sorrel kits. It's kind of another little trend I like to do. Just like fire, some form of first aid, and calorie collection. It's for water treatment, and I got the smallest water treatment collection I could. Um, so, last, and again, another big trend I always do, signaling. I found a whistle that fits perfectly in this. Not gonna blow it loudly. I'm in a relatively crowded area. I don't want to, um, you know, attract too much attention. But a whistle like this, blow loudly, and you may bring some attention to yourself. And it all fits as long as you place it correctly. And, and the reason I didn't pack it too much into there, um, but as long as you place the stuff correctly into there. You're good to go. Now, there's a couple things that are missing from here. And I know people are gonna tell me that are missing from here. There are things like a knife. Now, I'm not putting a knife in here. And the main reason behind it is because when I go hiking, I have a knife in my pocket. If you wanna build one very similar to this, and you want there to be a knife in yours, cool. But this is meant to go in my pocket or in my kit where there's already a knife next to it. And I couldn't really fit a knife into here. The other thing is I couldn't fit things like some sort of cover onto here. That's fine. I can put something like a Mylar blanket into my pocket or in my kit. Also, I like to consider my clothes a form of cover. Um, again, I know I could treat the jute twine, but again, I like keeping that untreated so it's easier to break apart. And it tends to also, if it's unbroken, I can also save it and use it as a good way of lighting the um, char that I make in a tinder bundle. And it's a good starter for a tinder bundle. Um, so that's another thing to consider. Whereas if you had treated it, it's not gonna work as great if you're using it with a tinder bundle, unless it's on the outside, where if it's untreated, it won't melt away the paraffin and you won't have to do as much work. So you gotta kind of think, you gotta think to yourself, you gotta think all the parts through. Everything in here is a different working part. So there are things that in here are quick flash tinder, but there's also things in here that are slow burning tinder. And that's what this is. This is an emergency kit that could get me through a couple days, but it is in junction with a backpack and also what I have in my pocket. I also plan usually carrying food with me. I have water with me. The reason why this isn't meant to carry, uh, isn't meant to boil water is because I usually carry this with me. But there's a chance I may also have a bladder with me. Or I could just have this with me. So, I think those things through. So. This is my mini survival kit. Um, I may try and make one, a smaller one, but at the same time, I think this is the smallest that I'd be comfortable making it. Um, but anyways, you guys have a good day. Remember, get out in the woods, have fun. Be safe out there. Survival is not why I'm out there. Survival really shouldn't be the reason why you're out there. You should be out there for enjoyment. and. I built this so my kits aren't weighing me down. This is so I have something in case I need it. So I can just get out and have fun easier. And I hope you're getting out there and having fun as well. See you everyone.